What is this game that we are playing, guys? I created and pulled off one of the biggest memes that I have ever done in the Shield Game Mode, and it all came down to this incredible card. And this incredible card. So guys, enjoy the video. We didn't make it very far. Today, we only made two wins, but it was all worth it, because we got some amazing content out of it. This is the Pharaoh's Heirloom deck that we drafted in Shield, and the current score is 1 and 2, so we haven't exactly been doing great. Let's see if we can make a recovery now. <laughs> Pools of Nemesis is here, so I might just keep all of these. Yeah, let's keep that. My opponent is not going to play anything, so I'm just going to end my turn. Let's preserve the extra mana. 3 mana for my opponent now, and they're going to play Nemesis Wasp. Uh, honestly, I can just get rid of that. Let's see what happens with Attempt Fate, Hidden, that works. I think I'm just going to play the Inspirator here. And that's going to attack me directly, okay. On the next turn, I'm going to play the Pools of Nemesis. Uh, but... Oh, that's a little problematic now. Okay, probably Raneko is a little stronger. Let's make sure that this creature has 4-4 as touch, and then I am going to attack here. Yeah, it's not looking good. The early game didn't go in our favor. Okay, this attacked again directly. Happy, very happy about that. Wait, what? That's a spider. Huh? Okay, my opponent made that stronger. Uh, I don't mind that at all. Because now I can just attack here. Then I can honestly play Illuminate onto you. Uh, the easy way out is for me to use my God Power, or I can play the Pulse of Nemesis and pray that my opponent gets unlucky. Actually, guys, I'm just going to use my God Power onto this and end my turn. Okay, that attack directly again. Uh, we'll, we'll take that, we'll take that. Oh, that is so strong, however. How many creatures do we have on the board? Not enough. Not enough, actually. So, I'm just going to use my get power here, guys. I am going to attack this. Let's get it out of the way. And then, I guess I need to empower this creature to get a Pharaoh's heirloom, and that's going to be it. Okay, that's quite strong, but we can very easily get rid of it. Oh, we can no longer get rid of it very easily. Um, I can play you, probably then. I kind of need to get rid of this. So afterwards I'm just going to use my the extra mana and play that creature. Plus one health doesn't really help me, but it's still the best course of action here. We have a couple of Pharaohs heirloom. Guys, the combo is starting to happen, but we are behind. Uh, honestly, I think I'm just going to use Pharaohs heirloom here to get rid of that. And then I am going to play an end to war on the next turn. This creature is going to really hurt me now, but we can't do much about it. Okay, Pharaohs heirloom number one. Let's play that. Then I'm just going to use my get power. And honestly, I'm going to end my turn. I really need to play an end to war on the next turn. Hopefully, my opponent is just going to draw to play two creatures. Ah, uh, guerrilla training. Okay, keep buffing this creature. I really want to get rid of it. That hurts. Oh, wait. Actually, I can play that. Yeah, I think I will. Or, actually, I can play an end to war, guys. Let's remove and put. Let's get rid of that creature. And then I can play the Pulse of Nemesis on an empty board. Let's start generating some value here. Okay, actually the Pharaoh combo is going to happen. My opponent is at 7 mana. Let's see what they have to say about all that. Okay, 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 okay. We'll take that, we'll take that. And actually, let's make a copy of you. I'm going to play you. Okay, Pharaoh number one. Let's get on, let's get you on the board. Let's deal four damage to my opponent. Oh, six damage actually. Yeah, okay, we'll take that. Uh, the combo is actually here. We're starting to duplicate Pharaohs now. Winter's bounty! My opponent is going to slow down the game, but uh, do we really care about that? Honestly, not so much. Let's just make a copy of you. And then, actually, I'm going to make another copy of you. Okay, guys, we have already 
three maxed out pharaohs on the board. Let's attack here with you. And honestly, I think I'm just going to use my good power onto this, just so that I can play another creature on the next turn. And I am going to end my turn afterwards. Please don't find a way to deal with this board. Guys, the co we, made, we, we made it, we pulled off an insane Pharaoh's combo. I told you yesterday that this was going to happen. We don't really care about that. That is a lot of creatures now on the board, but we can very easily get rid of them. Um, let me think how we are actually going to get rid of those. Let's attack here, obviously. I kind of want to get rid of that. Wait, when it says summon a copy of a creature, if I do that on an opponent's creature, what's going to happen? I have no idea. Guys, do you think it's worth to try it out? Or am I going to regret it? Okay, let me just play Avalanche Strike. I'm not going to risk it out. I am going to use my get power here. Let's get rid of both of those creatures for my opponent. And you know what? Let's summon another Pharaoh. That's going to be the end of our turn. I can't make any more copies. <laughs> what is even going on? <laughs> My opponent is at 8 mana. What is this game that we are playing, guys? What is this game? Tartessian Blood Axe. No, no, no. Don't just win. Just don't start attacking me directly. Come on, come on, come on. Now we have 18. Oh, another one. Oh, guys, we can actually win the game now. Okay, okay, let's attack directly. That's it. Boom, boom, boom. And then Unbound Flames. And the game is over! The power of the Pharaohs is here. The pyramids are here to help us. Wow. What a combo.